Hello and welcome back to the PHP beginner course. So in this short review, we're going to have a look at include and require. So we're going to determine when to use include and require, and then also the required once and the include once. So try and explain what the include or require does. The statement retrieves the specified file and then copies it into the file where you use the include or required statement. So it sounds complicated. It's probably easier just to show you. So here's a common example of how you might use include on a web page. So take this example, we have index here and on index, we include the header and the footer page that we've created. Now in the header and footer, we have simple HTML, um, the starting tags, maybe up to the body tag. And then the include, we have the end body tag and the HTML tag. So we might also include in the head of the navigation bar because we know that all these items are consistent throughout a whole website. So this helps us and prevents us from rewriting code that we already have because we can just import files into a page here and include existing code that we know we don't need to write again. Otherwise we're just duplicating code on multiple pages. So here, for example, on this index page, it should now say header because it says header in the header and footer in the footer. So it should say header, some text and footer. So when we display it in the browser, you can see it says exactly that some, so header, some text and footer. So you can see it's incorporating all the data from header into the index page. Of course, this example works exactly the same. If we use require, I refresh and you can see it works exactly the same. So the question remains, when do you use require and when do you use include? So you would use require when a file is needed by the application to function correctly, else it would break. And then include uh, when a file is not required and the application should continue when the file is not found. So importantly, if require doesn't work, it will produce a fatal error and stop the script. Whereas include will only produce a warning and the script will continue. So using include and require, it does allow us to use a file or import a file more than once on the page. So take this example, header, header. This would produce header, some text, header. But there might be occasions when you don't want to include the file again and you want to protect yourself from doing that, for example. So for example, um, when the file contains content that would produce an error on subsequent inclusion. So we also have require once or include once. So by utilizing this and applying it on both, you'll notice then that the, the header, the second header here, it won't be actually printed on the page. There we go. So that's the difference between require and require once. So that was just a simple review of include and require. So include and require allows us to add subsequent files um, or include subsequent files where we state the include or require. And where we need to uh, protect ourselves from accidentally or utilizing the same include twice or more, then we can use the include once. And that just ensures that the file will only be included on the page once. 